Welcome to Last Week This Week. I'm your host, Avon Lefebvre, and this is the most irrelevant and underfunded show in snowboarding. Seriously, I bought this for $3 at a thrift store because I thought it would be funny and ironic. I now wear it seven days a week. Fixed Bindings out of Canada, a brand you may have heard of, maybe you haven't, I don't know, we did review them at one point, has signed Chris Bradshaw to the team. Now, what does that mean for you and me? Well, AARP benefits. You see, Chris Bradshaw is old. Regional Rome Man Am, Nate Cordero, dropped his part from this past year. It's got parks, powder, and rails. Now, some of you might be saying, so what, everyone else's does. Let me tell you, this stands out. Why? It's actually enjoyable to watch, as you can see here. Nate knows how to put a part together. The ugly kids and company know how to edit it. That's all you really need to know. Backcountry.com, the largest online retailer in the United States and possibly the world for winter sports stuff, although maybe Amazon's beating them. I don't know, I don't pay attention to these things. Doesn't matter. Has gear experts, and these gear experts are there to answer your questions. They're there to help you with anything you need, as can be seen here in this photo. Now look closely as they set up this stance in this photo. Do you see anything wrong? I mean, progressive pigeon stance could be all the new rage this year for 2017. Christian Holler's glue is out, and the question that I asked, what the fuck is it, has finally been answered. It's a must-watch movie. In fact, if you are not going to watch this movie, don't consider yourself a snowboarder. You are just someone that likes to go snowboarding. Nothing wrong with that. Stick to the art of flight or the fourth phase or whatever that crap is that Travis Rice makes. I'm gonna watch this with my friends and then we're gonna go snowboarding and it's gonna be fun. That's all I need to say about this movie. If you followed this show, you might know that I support a number of charities, mainly ones that are self-serving to myself, like the Angry Snowboarder Legal Defense Fund, and the Get Angry Free Food Fund. But what you might not know is that I also support a little foundation out of New York called the Shred Foundation. Now their goal is to get underprivileged youth up on the hill. Now some of you might be saying, what's the point of getting underprivileged youth up on the hill? Doesn't mean anything, they'll never be able to afford it. Well, I wanna say this as someone that was a slightly underprivileged youth, which might come as a surprise because I'm white. Because of that, I'm going to be sending these two snowboards from Flow that were left over from our product review series to Danny Harrison and the Shred Foundation. You can also help the Shred Foundation. Check out their website, see what they have going on. Maybe volunteer if you're in the New York area, send donations. They're taking gently used gear. Anything that you can donate will help them. The mixtape teaser from some people whose names you can't pronounce and I'm not even going to butcher them this time. Why you need to watch it? Because it's right there and I'm right here and I'm talking and it's playing. What more do you need from me? From Instagram, when EST failed, courtesy of at check the feed. That fucking sucks. That really fucking sucks. Nothing like having a rear foot ejection. The San Tropez movie is out. You probably watched it or you didn't. I don't really care either way. I know I watched it. And there was two things that I learned from this. One, Madonna and trash cans go hand in hand, which really speaks volumes about Madonna and Guy Ritchie, but that's something else. And two, this poor guy's buckled suck dicks. Or ass, I don't know. They can suck anything they want, but they suck. They're supposed to stay and he's not. I mean, I know one footers are all the rage, but that's that's not what you want to be doing when you're hitting an urban rail, I think. That, that rear foot ejection is just not fun. The Faces in Different Places teaser is out. What is it? Canadian Front Country. What's that mean for you and me? Nothing because the movie is actually out now and you should probably just watch that instead. But to get an idea of what you're going to be watching, you can look at this. I know I've seen it a few times. It's great. I swear. Scott's honor. Brooks Finlandson's full part is an ode to praying to the powder gods of the Wasatch. Sure, there's some rails and park in there, but we can just forget about that. What's really going on is smooth turns, and that's all you need to know from this. If you're old, and I mean like geriatric old, probably around the same age as Bob Klein, who used to wear speed suits, then you know what Funky Snowboards is. If you don't, well, it's an Italian brand. 
Now this edit from Elio Fumagalli, no relation to Martino Fumagalli of Union fame and rollerblading, is well shot. It's not the most banger shit on the earth, it's just really well shot. I tried to hate it, but it was too well shot. And sometimes you just have to look at videos that are put together like this because they're good. Gabe Jacques Cousteau. Uh, that might not be his name, but who cares because I mispronounce everything. It's another front country edit out of Canada, which seem to be a dime a dozen these days. Now, maybe they're replacing park edits, maybe they're not. I don't really care. I wasn't even going to talk about this edit, except for this one trick right here. That backflip out of the rail is fucked. Everything else, eh, can go either way on, but that, that is fucked. And now the pick of the week, the DC Ply. Why should you buy it? Well, it's because it's not the DC Media Blitz, which sucks butthole. Need I say more? Oh, and camber, has camber, which is what old people ride. It's not reverse, it goes like this. Levi Gunsberg is one of the pigeon boys. I don't know what those are, but I assume that they got their board set up from backcountry.com, which is, then they're all pigeon toed, which you, you don't want that. You just don't want that. Anyways, this edit, all season done at Corinthia up in Mount Snush, filmed and edited by Dylan Deemers, which of course means it's gonna be good, has a tail press from hell. Well, I mean, like, fuck! That is a tail press. Thank you for watching last week, this week. I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm gonna go kick a snow carny in the balls and capture some of their tears. Why? Because I heard it prevents chlamydia. Oops. Stay tuned later this week to the website, Instagram, and Facebook. Or maybe next week, I don't know. I'm pretty irrelevant and lackadaisical with my time frame. But I will be giving this board away in the next 10 days.